Yo, what's up guys to Boxing Legends back with another video today. In this tutorial today, we're going to be learning how you guys could remove a part using scripting in Roblox Studio today. It's very fast and it's very simple. So let's start now. So what I like to do is I'm going to add a script to server script service. And what we could do is we're going to remove everything, right? Let's put a task wait for like maybe 5 seconds. And after, let's say we want to remove the base plate, right? What we could do is we could type game dot workspace and then dot base plate. I think that's the name of it, right? And then colon destroy. And now when when we hit run and we wait five seconds. Oh, that's my alt account. But anyways, you guys see that the base plates removed. Another way to remove a base another way to remove a part in Roblox Studio though is Besides targeting it by game works game dot workspace in server script service, let's say we remove this script, right? Let's say we disable the whole thing. So we could do control slash and now this script's disabled, right? What we could do is let's say we wanna um remove this base plate again, right? What we could do is we could put a script inside the part, then let's declare our variable. We're gonna type local part equals the script dot parent. And then after, what we could type is task dot wait five seconds. And then after, all we gotta type is part, then column destroy. And this saves like a lot of lines too because we put a variable. If you don't want the variable done, then you could just put script dot parent dot part column destroy, and it works like the same. So we see here when we load the game in, after five seconds, bam, it's gone. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, smash that like and smash that subscribe button. And surely hit that notification bell if you enjoyed it. So you can know when the next handy tutorial comes in place. And yeah guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.